And over here you are seeing uh, primary gravida with polyhydramnios. And this is a, a still image in which uh, the, well, I have exposed the kidneys, uh, right kidney in transverse and in longitudinal section. So this is the uh, right kidney in longitudinal section. It measures 3.18 centimeters in anterior posterior diameter 1.75 centimeters and in uh, weight it measures 1.63 centimeters. So these are the kidneys. This is the kidney. Ruling out one of the causes that kidneys are actually stronger. This is the longitudinal section, the circular area, and this is the transverse section of uh, this female undergoing. I see the suggestion was here. Now let's see that uh, this is, you see, this is the amount of fluid. It's a rather magnified view, and I'm going to go to the normal image optimization. Placenta is posterior wall. Here you can see it's, uh, it's posterior wall. You will see later on it is, uh, is it marginal or above us? We will be seen later on. Now this is the fetal neck region. The neck is known. There is the this is the nuclear transparency, measuring approximately 2.9 normal. This is the umbilical cord, two artery, one vein, two artery, one vein, and uh, the largest stamina of your fluid pocket without umbilical cord, including the umbilical cord measures. This is the amniotic fluid pocket, largest amniotic fluid. Pocket. That measures 1.79 centimeter. And uh, now in this patient, the BPD is 8.17, corresponding to the gestational age of 32 weeks. Femur length is 6.2 centimeters, corresponding to the gestational age of 32 weeks. Abdominal circumference is 271.3, corresponding to the gestational age of 31 weeks. XM with an estimated fetal weight of 1.84 kg. Gestational age is 32 weeks plus one day. Expected date of delivery 28 August 2012. Now let's study the further. We will have to see the stomach bubble. Here it is. This is the stomach bubble. So skeleton. Uh, the let's see the It is a male fetus. Again, you are seeing the kidney over here. This is the kidney. This is the stomach. Wow. And here you will see the vertebral column. There is uh, no issue with the column. vertebral column, no outflow, no anomaly. This is the anterior abdominal wall, this is the vertebra, this is the vertebra, anterior abdominal wall, no defect in this area. Domain filibata city. Domain filibata This is a male fetus. Here we can see. He has a stimulated penis rather. Oh my god.
this is the gestational, uh, sorry, this is the subglottal sac, this is the penis, so male fetus.
تھوڑا سا بیٹا تین دفعہ ایک دفعہ اور سیدھی ہو جائے If it is a urinary bladder and if you repeat a scan after a few hours with empty urinary bladder or with of the mother, then this is the urinary bladder of the mother. And placenta is not reaching the depth. It is about the odds, definitely. It is difficult to get the odds in this patient. The cause of the pressure of the fluid, however, this is the placenta posterior wall and about the odds. This is the security under study. This is the security. So this is a 32 years, uh, a 32 weeks pregnancy with uh, polyhydramnios and a cystic structure extending from the region of the umbilicus, uh, sorry, umbilicus to the pelvic region. This is the urinary bladder. Possibly this is the urinary bladder. Let you just a material, you just a material. Now I'm going to ask her to fill the urinary bladder and then I will repeat the scan to see if the uh, that disappears or it remains over there to see whether it is uh, urinary bladder or, or uh, urethral seal or a mesenteric cyst. Okay. And this is the this is the liver, this is the gallbladder, and this is the area of study. Thank you. This is the same female patient that I asked her to wait for two hours and after two hours I am re-scanning her. Uh, this is a case with polyhydramnios at 32 weeks gestational age with a cystic area seen extending from the pelvis uh, of the fetus into the um, up to the umbilical region in the midline. So you see that uh, this is the urinary bladder, it's almost empty. This is the gestational sac. This is the uh, umbilical. This is the urinary bladder, and uh, you can see that the placenta is much away from the urinary bladder. This is the bladder, and this is the placenta. So its distance is uh, quite far away. So it is posterior wall, but uh, this is the placenta. Posterior wall and is uh, above the os. Do mental trauma, sir. Now we move towards the desired area of study. This is the area, the cystic area. Now it still persists after two hours of. Uh, mm -hmm. Patient. Patients for waiting and uh, evacuating the urinary bladder of her because uh, it's said that when the urinary bladder 
of the mother children king the unary brother of the fetus also and here now if, you, if we concentrate beta theory mere mein mere liye bada mushkil hai bhai is tarah se very nahi mera person hai to to gaat ke khaya now we see and now you see that this is actually this is the unary bladder of the fetus and this is the cystic area extending in the midline from the pelvis into the almost umbilical region so this persists so the differential is in the initial study it did say that uh, it can be ovarian cyst so i'm sorry for that it is a male patient uh, if it had had it been a female then ovarian cyst would had in come into the differential so the that differential is out of question now you see this is the kidney and uh, we do we do see a very mild degree of pelvic dilation whereas the ureter is not that much dilated so posterior ureter wall is the second differential third will be the mesenteric cyst and this is the kidney this is the kidney this is the pelvis of the kidney this is the ureter of the same patient so Yes. Okay. Okay. So, so this appears to be a descended gallbladder with uh, this being the kidney and this being the dilated pelvis, slightly dilated pelvis, and this is the ureter. As we have, and for the fetus, this is the dilation of this much of the fetus. Is should be uh, of some significance so my i will uh, i will contain myself toward to the differentials number 1 this over distended urinary bladder number 2 this is the kidney this is the pelvis and this is the ureter so this can this cystic area can be either number 1 utilitated over distended urinary bladder and uh, second male fetus ab posterior ureter valve third mesenteric cyst uh, these are the differentials and the fourth and the final will be the urethral cyst thank you